Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite outfits from season one of Emily in Paris. Fitting the hat and sweater. Can you guess what casual look is my fave casual look based on this sweater? It kind of, if you know, you know. If you don't, then you about, you're about to find out. Okay, quick disclaimer. Although I have a degree in fashion, I'm ashamed to say my fashion vocab is a little rusty. So bear with me in this video. I'm so sorry. I can literally feel like the head shaking from my college professors. Like, I really can. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so number one on my list is the, we'll call it the Audrey Hepburn recreated look from season one. Um, this black T-length A-line dress just... I think I like this look so much because it gives me a little bit of nostalgia because I can literally remember how obsessed I was with Audrey Hepburn in like middle school and high school and I would like make my own planner like put pictures of Audrey Hepburn all over it and that's what I remember and I distinctly remember this look if you don't know what I'm talking about it's this look right here um the iconic rose bush look but she did it in all black and it just I loved this look and Lily Collins actually looks a lot like Audrey Hepburn when her hair is pulled back so just a little props for the casting. I thought that was a nice touch but that's my first look on the list. I love that T-length ball gown look. It just brings back so many memories. I loved it. And then she was on the steps. Okay, the next look, which inspired the sweater that I'm wearing today, is the countryside sweater look. I think that this look, it is one of my favorite looks, and I have my reasons for why, but um, it's not like the best, the most chic look in Emily in Paris, but it does fit the occasion, what she's like wearing it for. And let's be real, every fashionista does not like... They, we have those outfits that like are not our best, but they're just for comfort. So that's fair. It does make Emily more relatable in the sense that she still keeps her sense of style, even on her days off, but it's not as cohesive as it as the other outfits in the show are. So I don't know, but there's just something about the sweater. So, okay. In some ways, I think that this look is a disaster because I don't like it paired with the leggings and yellow boots. It does fit Emily as a character development piece in her costume. I think the costumer did a great job in the show, like throughout. Um, I wouldn't. Maybe it's the hunter boots. I have beef with hunter boots because they just take me back to middle school, and I hate them. So, but they are designer rain boots. If you don't know what hunter boots are. But I just don't like the rest of this look. However, this sweater I think is adorable. And if it was paired with like something else, maybe like how I'm wearing it. Maybe I would have loved it a little more because I felt like she could have done casual jeans with this look and it would have been chic but still cozy, comfy vibes. You know what I mean? Okay, let's move on to Mindy because she's one of my favorite characters in both character development and style. So just a little background, Mindy is from, I think she says Shanghai or something in the show. Um, and I think the costumer did a great job when it came to styling Mindy in terms of her background because she wears like out there, cute, fun, trendy stuff. And I think that coincides with her background because if you look at like Asian, um, Asian culture, fashion, uh, and places especially like Korea, Japan, China, they take fashion to a whole new level. And Mindy, you know, she came to play for the show. So I love her style. We're actually going to start with the red bustier see-through top. I think she's singing on stage. I am on season two. I'm literally watching season two right now, so I don't want to get my thoughts mixed up, but... She's wearing that red bustier 
see-through top with the layered tulle skirt and I love it. I love it so much and I thought the see-through was done tastefully because it fit the occasion. It was a girl's night out and it was just a little spicy but it wasn't like too, what's the word I'm looking for, cheap. You know how sexy can sometimes look cheap when people take it to, you know. But that's just my opinion. But I love this look. I love this party look. I would literally wear this look. Mandy's cute. I like her. Okay. Next, we have the plaid power suit that Mindy wears. And I love it. I know skinny legs are not really super trendy right now. But in this particular look, it works. Um, the silhouette... I just feel like the silhouette wouldn't have worked if it was wide leg, in my opinion. Um, just with this look, sorry, I have like notes on my phone, like talking points, so. But I like that it's a skinny leg and not a wide leg just because of the cinch waist. I'm just so tired of seeing that, although it is cute and I wear it all the time. It's just different and refreshing. Mindy's take on this particular look of the power suit because we've been seeing like those boxy oversized blazer silhouette drowning and I like and I just like what she did with it. My favorite thing about this look are the detached cuffs because I love like disassembled outfits and how they look like I like when you're, you're wearing like pieces of a whole outfit like separately if that makes any sense but I love that she has like the floating cuffs I think that's super cute super different um, the shoes, love. But another piece, this is kind of more subtle, but I really like the bralette that she has peeking out at the top because I love adding a soft of touchiness on like those masculine looks and like sometimes suits can be seen as a little bit more masculine and just that touch of feminine lace or whatever you want to add. I think that was a nice touch in addition with the off the shoulder, just added a little more I play to the look not to mention that the suit is plaid and I just that's a timeless print in itself and I love plaid that's just me though okay my last Mindy look I know not everyone will like but I love because I'm a sucker for animal print I was wearing it when it was out of style and I'm glad that it's back in style okay so I love it this snakeskin print, and I love that it's nude. It makes it look a little bit more chic than trendy because it's a nude color, not some crazy colored animal print. I'm a person that likes bold prints. I like to stand out. I like to wear crazy, funky things. I think that's a good way to describe my style. It's like quirky and funky. This look I think is just so sexy because you have the tall boots, which I love. I mean, I need these boots. And then like the short blazer dress, which is adorable. And I also like borderline tacky looks. I don't know if that makes me more like Pierre Ringard or, or whatever his name is in the show, but I love like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the borderline tacky looks and I know some fashionistas will disagree and like the basic time timeless looks but that's just not me <laughs> okay so let's move on to Camille Cami for short okay girl season two okay no spoilers but I'm just saying Camille really popped off at season two I'm currently watching homegirl popped off so that's all I have to say about that, but we're not talking about season two, we're talking about season one. So, my favorite, let's start here. I love how they made Camille so French in the show, and I mean that through costuming. The costumer did an amazing job, like I've said before, but they did a really good job making her seem like, she's literally, her character literally embodies what I envision a French girl dressing like on the day-to-day -day basis. This goes back to that countryside look where Cami wore the denim two-piece with the little, what is it, a paper boy hat? Is that what it's called? I think so, but I, or a baker boy, it's a baker boy hat. But I love the crop denim with the baggy jeans. 
I like that it gave space for her long, sexy, sleek silhouette. Again, literally what I vision every French woman looking like. Um, and it just came off as like casually sexy tomboy. And I, that is an aesthetic I am a sucker for. I love that sexy tomboy look. She did it great. Oh my God. I, I do like Kimmy, especially in season one. So, okay. The next look we're gonna get in for Camille is the boxy, it's the boxy black blazer with the baggy black jeans and then the pop of red shoes. I love this look because first of all, the pop of red is literally, those pop of color in the shoes is literally, excuse me, how I get away with wearing all black. I'm definitely a person that loves to wear all black and this is literally how I get away with it without looking like I'm going to a funeral, even though I hate people say that because I really don't give a crap. I love the oversized baggy blazer. I don't think it's just a trend for me. It's here to stay and I will be wearing it more and more. That's just what I like. Um, I can't really tell what type of boots they are because they're covered by the cuff jeans, but I think the cuff on the baggy jeans is a nice touch because it just gives a little bit more dimension in her look. So I really love that. Again, another sexy French girl tomboy look from Cami. I love it. Okay, I'm a huge fan of Style Hard, the channel, and I love 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 her so much but I disagree with the opinion about the sleeve trends being tacky I do because I love dramatic sleeves but for me that's a staple I don't wear it just because it's a trend I've been wearing this since literally high school um so yeah I love this plaid dress and I love the dramatic sleeves because they do give a different take on the on the silhouette of the dress I just think it adds something fun I love the sleeves. The cropped peasant sleeves are a vibe. The cropped peasant sleeves are a vibe in my opinion. I love it so much. I would literally wear this dress today because I'm in love with like the mini dress but then the big sleeves so it's like just a little, again, addition to the silhouette that I love. But again, this is all just my opinion and I love Emily in Paris the show so that's just what I think. I also think this dress is good for, again, Camille's character because, and I also could see something like this on Mindy, maybe in a different color, but I love the nude, I love the sleekness and the dramatic sleeves. Again, it just makes me think of your classic OG French girl. All right guys, and those were my favorite looks from Emily in Paris season one. Stay tuned for season two of my favorite looks. I'm literally watching it right now. I'm on episode five at the time that I'm filming this. And it is juicy. It is so good. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite shows on Netflix in a long time that I can relate to. Not like literally relate to, but like I love that there's another like fashion show because you don't really get a lot of fashion shows on Netflix and I like, I love, 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 love the style in this show. It's like, Emily in Paris is like a modern art generation, sex in the city. So I'm vibing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Check back every Saturday for a new fashion video where we discuss all different topics in fashion, beauty. If you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram. Here it is right here. Um, I post outfit inspiration and more beauty on there as well throughout the week. But check back every Saturday for a new YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked something in this video, give me a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you in a week.